Hello and welcome once again to some more uh, Grand Prix World and uh, another part of our career mode with Sauber. Now, uh, just a, a quick announcement really um, in today's episode. This is going to be the final season of the career mode. Now, I'll explain why in a second. Um, main reason is that the 2022 mod is out. Uh, I will be starting a new series on that as soon as this series is finished and because we've achieved our drivers uh, and constructors goal um this one is going to be ending here after this season i might come back and do the final two seasons later down the line this save isn't going to go anywhere uh, i'm not going to delete it or anything like that but you know it's kind of run its course um I've had a few comments recently, which we haven't had the, the whole way through the series, of, of people saying they were getting a little bit bored of it, and I, I can sort of see it. So um, we are going to have two final episodes of this series. We're going to have uh, six races today, six rounds. Um, we're going to go out on a high, hopefully, with Rubens and Mika uh, in our in our seats and you know Rubens was got off to the perfect start this season he's hopefully going to run away with the world championship he's the world champion of course so let's uh, try and get him his second world championship by the end of the season uh, we're hopefully going to win our second constructors title as well and you know hope things are, uh, are really looking good going forward with that um we're then going to have seven episodes uh, seven races in the next episode uh, and uh, then next week we're going to move on to the uh, the 2022 mods. So what I need you to let me know down in the comments of this video is which team do you want to see me try and lead to glory in the 2022 universe? So there's, uh, of course, the 10 teams, um, Mercedes to Williams, and then... Um, We've got uh, an eleventh team because of twenty-two cars back in nineteen ninety-eight. So there is an eleventh team, uh, Andretti race, and of course they're very heavily rumored to be coming in F one in the next couple of years anyway. But to get the mod to work, uh, there has to be an eleventh team. So Andretti are also in it. So let me know which of the two thousand and twenty-two teams you want me to be to see if we can win a World Constructors title. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we will play 10 years into the future of that one. It's going to be awesome. We'll try and get that uh, series done before F1 Manager 2022 comes out, or at least we'll, we'll get a couple of seasons into the playthrough. But, uh, yeah, just a, a quick PSA, really. Uh, not that quick, because it was three minutes of the video. I do apologise. But a uh, quick look at the news. So, Barrichello has taken three races in succession. Hakkinen finished second. Uh, Barrichello, of course, got pole position as well. Um, Jack Villeneuve will be racing for Ferrari next year. Tuero has bought the seat at Arrows. Adrian Newey is going to join Prost. Um, yeah, that all looks good. Okay. Uh, Emails-wise, we did make a massive loss at the last Grand Prix. But we did take a massive loan at the start of the season to, to basically see us through the, the rest of the career mode, if you like. Uh, and that's what we will be doing. Um, we've got our new engine and uh, fuel and tyres, which is awesome. Uh, we've already agreed deals with some teams, which is uh, with some of our commercial relations, which is fantastic. Uh, are we sorted for next season? We have, of course, got uh, Ralph Schumacher and David Coulthard joining us next season. Yeah, so we've got... Yeah, those are those are locked in until the, the end of the career mode then. Uh, Commercial-wise, we have got Ian Phillips in. We have got uh, Bigois back in for next season. Designing Heart Big Harv is here till the end. Uh, Stepney, we need to make sure his contract is... Uh, so, ah, hang on. We've got Pagliarini coming in, of course. Yes, that makes sense. Perfect. So we are going to have almost the perfect team next season. Uh, the only thing is our drivers, Schumacher and Coulthard, not an ideal combination, but uh, will certainly save us some money going forward. Uh, right, let's have a look at the cars. So, uh, just remind myself of what's going on. 
So car one and car four do need some fixing up. Um, technology wise, we are ready to construct our clutch. So that's fine. Uh, electronics, we will increase the performance of. And then we'll have a look at the 2005 chassis that's ready to move into the model design phase. That's brilliant. And we've already got a, a really good car. So goodness knows where we're going to be by the end of this episode. Uh, work on next year's car is going swell as well. Oh, yeah, we are cheating <laughs> with our driver aids. Who knew? Well, we did, obviously. <laughs> The FIA still haven't uh, discovered our deceit just yet. Uh, tires are pretty much maxed out. We've got one more tire test required. Engine still has a bit of work to do. Fuel we should be able to sort out as well. Um, we are going to do 200 miles of testing this time. I'm not really bothered about the amount of money that we're spending, knowing that this is, in fact, our final season. Uh, and it'll be future Joe's problem if he wants to come back to this series. So there you go. Uh, those two are done. Annoyingly, the fuel um, still didn't get maxed out there. It's really, really annoying because now we have to do an extra round of testing. How annoying. Right, uh, let's get this improved. Our soft tyre. And then I believe we will be using that soft tyre going forward. Uh, engine wise, of course, with Ferrari. Yep. So we need another two rounds of testing there, which is fine. Uh, we might as well pass on the research as well. That's all good. And then we can get ourselves a nice swell car but yeah the season's been going well um, of course we've won the first three races of the season we've started out with uh, the fastest car which you know it's never happened before um, and that is a, a massive massive deal for us uh, Ferrari uh, are prepared to give us a works deal. Let's play our success card on that, try and get that signed up as soon as possible. Uh, the tyres, we have, of course, got Goodyear coming in, um, coming in clutch for us. Michelin uh, uh, are going to be a, a tyre supplier, uh, perhaps next season. I think they are this year as well, from memory. Uh, ooh, this one needs a little bit of work, this shell deal, so let's uh, pop that in there. Uh, FedEx aren't willing to sign a deal just yet, neither are HSBC, but uh, we will try and get those signed up. Uh, VIP-wise, we are bringing FedEx, Ferrari and Shell. That all seems good. Okay, right, uh, let's head into the next Grand Prix then. So... Uh, we'll confirm the team orders, then we will move to set up. Um, ch -ch -ch, couple on overtaking, one on heat, one on rain, just because I'm feeling it, and one on speed. There we go, nice. Uh, let's make sure that we've got our upgraded engine in there. Soft tyres are fine. Yep. Um, Hakkinen is going hard, uh, although Barrichello's actually been doing the better job this season, hasn't he? So, he'll go soft. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Wet tyre-wise, we definitely want our upgraded wet tyres. Perfect. Right, let's head into the Grand Prix then. Let's see how we get on. It is 22 degrees and dry for your qualifying session today. Uh, let's head into qualifying and see how we get on. Hey, it's going to be a pole position. 
and it's a one-two and it's Mika Hakkinen on pole position on the hard tyres, uh, just a tenth ahead of Rubens Barrichello and Laurent Redon's Prost in third, Magnussen fourth, Watt in fifth and Michael Schumacher in sixth. Anybody out of the 107? No, but Tyrrell really struggling. McLaren really struggling at near the back as well. Uh, 23 degrees, very dry for your race day. Uh, Rubens Barrichello is going to be two stopping, of course, uh, and we're going to give him fresh rubber throughout, whereas uh, Mika Hakkinen will be one stop in the joint. And let's see how he gets on. So, 31. And 31, we'll give him fresh boots for uh, his second stint. So here we go, let's see how we get on. Oh, it is going to be a podium. Is it going to be a fourth consecutive win? Yes, it is. And Mika Hakkinen has retired from the race. Uh, Rubens Barrichello absolutely dominating uh, this race and the season in general. <laughs> so not too much of a surprise. Uh, Jason Watt finishes second, Michael Schumacher third, Jan Magnussen fourth, Olivia Panis fifth, and Eddie Irvine rounds out the top six. Uh, Mika Hakkinen had an accident. Well, what a shame, but Barrichello already 28 points clear of Michael Schumacher in second. I am gutted we haven't got uh, Barrichello going forward. We're already running away with the constructors as well. It's all looking good in the hood at the moment. Um, four straight wins for Rubens Barrichello quite unbelievable uh, Jarno Trulli will be racing for Stewart next year Jorg Muller will be riding for Benetton uh, we've secured the services of Ralph Schumacher uh, nothing else particularly of note there we made a slightly smaller loss but a loss nonetheless um don't really care about testing too much. We have got our new fuel grade, new tyre set, and new engine. Ferrari's happy. Goodyear's prepared to sign the works deal, as is Ferrari. Uh, Shell are already at partner stage. We have to deal with FedEx and we have to deal with HSBC. Absolutely perfect. That is what we want to talk about. Right, into technology. Let's see if we can upgrade this. Yes, we can. Perfect. Uh, real shame that we had uh, an accident with Mika Hakkinen at the last Grand Prix. I was hoping that he could really challenge uh, Rubens this year, but it's just not not quite been his uh, his time yet. It's a real shame. Anyway, we can uh, upgrade our technology now. It's fine. We'll also get some spares made up. But yeah, I cannot wait for the, the, the 2022 mod. It's, it's going to be great. Um, and I really hope that you guys will enjoy it as well. But uh, yeah, let's head to testing. Let's just keep doing what we were doing. Uh, engine wise, we'll get that improved straight away. Uh, let's just. Ah. Kind of doesn't matter, but we have had an improvement from Ferrari, so. There was a possibility that there. Uh, no, it wasn't very good. <laughs> I was going to say there, there was a possibility that there... Um, oh, for goodness sake, we don't need any tyre testing. Uh, let's just do it. We don't need to make any more, but we will. Just for the sake of it, um, fuel-wise, we are fine. We can get that improved. Annoyingly, uh, it was enough this time, apparently, to get full bars of fuel. What are the chances? Um, that's all. Can we perform test it again? Ah. <laughs> I was going to say, how have I only discovered this? 
Oh dear, right. Let's get the cars fixed up. Um, yeah, Hacken and put our car dead in a ditch, unfortunately. The last Grand Prix. That was not part of his deal. I have to say, Hakkinen has not been as good as I expected. I feel like Diniz was probably this good compared to, to Barrichello. I mean, you know, I'm probably being a little bit harsh, but if we have a little look at the driver's standings last year, you know, 13 points separated them. If you look at the previous year, if, okay, it was uh, 19 points, but... The year before, only six points. Um, the year before that, only 16. So, you know, I don't think we got much of an upgrade with Hakkinen. Okay, he, he had horrible reliability last year, and I think that's probably why he didn't win the championship. But this year, you know, he's a long way behind already. He's a long, long way behind already. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway into the commercial land of opportunity. Let's get ourselves a deal with HSBC, a deal with FedEx, uh, and then we'll take 5% off each of those. And we are gonna talk to PlayStation. Uh, Fuel-wise, very, very close. Ooh, a two season works deal with Goodyear. Yes, please. And a one season deal with Ferrari. Yes, please. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, we are going to take 5% off those deals now. And we're going to open up a new line of discussion with Bic. Just because we can, really. How are we looking? Um, we got... Yeah, we need three more cash sponsors. We need our fuel sorted out. And we'll have a full sponsor package, which would be fantastic uh, at this time of the year. Let's bring Bic along and just show them how good it is to be a part of our team. Uh, let's do our car assembly first. Why not? Let's switch it up a little bit. Um, if, yeah, Barrichello's doing a great job on them softs now has fully maxed out softs. Uh, let's get Hackenden on the, exactly the same strategy and really see who is the daddy. Very good. So a couple of notches on speed, well, a couple on overtaken and one on wind. Um, and then let's see who has got the business in qualifying in Spain. Very, very important, of course. Oh, dear. Right. Hang on. It was a... Yeah. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. That's fine. Right, let's save it. Just to make sure that everything is good. Yeah, that's fine. Right, uh, into qualifying we go. 30 degrees in overcast, so quite warm. But let's see how we get on in qualifying. We, we have got, undoubtedly, the fastest car. Wow, a 1.5 there. And uh, Hakkinen quite far off the pace, really. Uh, Barrichello on pole position, two tenths ahead of Toro Takagi uh, in second for Prost, Magnus in third, Watt in fourth with Hakkinen only fifth, four tenths of a second behind his teammate. Uh, it has stayed very stable overnight uh, and we are going to be going for the two-stop strategy. Uh, Barrichello is going to be on fresh boots all the way and uh, Hakkinen is going to have the uh, cured rubber for the first two stints uh, before having some fresh rubber towards the end. Let's see how we get on. Is it going to be five out of five for Rubens Barrichello? It could well be, and it is. There you go. And 11 seconds ahead of his teammate, Mika Hakkinen. Lauren Radon in third there. 
and uh, we've got uh, Jason Watt in fourth, Jan Magnus in fifth, and Michael Schumacher rounded out the top six just ahead of Pedro Diniz, our old boy, of course, and Barrichello makes it five out of five, 50 points out of 50, and, uh, well, I mean, have you seen anything quite like it? This has been dominant from Rubens Barrichello. Um, and we have got the upgraded car as well coming, so it's going to be even better, is the car. Um, we've got TV advantage. Signed the agreement. The works deal has been signed. Uh, and Shell has given us the works deal, which is good. Nice. Okay, cool. Right, news-wise, uh, uh, Barrichello has won the last five races. Can anyone beat him? How can I finish second? Um... I mean, the fact is, Barrichello could sit out at three Grand Prix and not uh, and not even be overtaken. That is how dominant he has been so far, and it's a shame. You know, I really did try and, and keep him, but uh, Williams were sneaky and got him, and they're getting a cracking driver next year. Right, let's see. Oh, seventy-five percent. That is what you are talking about. Yes. We are going to be in uh, into the 80s by the end of this episode, which is going to be awesome sources. Right. Um, probably throttle. Let's, uh, let's get that working. Nice. Let's get 25%. Or oh, was it 35 we had on this, I think. Nah, it must have been 40, and then 35 on that. Right. Um, Testing-wise, we don't need any fuel testing. We don't need any tyre testing. We do need some development testing this time. So we'll go 15s all round. And driver-wise, we will... do that um, set up testing we don't really need to worry about so we'll do something like that that should work yep uh, we can develop now which means we can start works immediately on our next upgrade and we can pass on the knowledge so much of this is just purely automatic now. Uh, hang on, that's already upgraded. Um, yes, let's get this all fine and dandy. Bang, bang. And the dirt is gone. Cool. Right. Let's get our cars fixed, fixed up. Um, we require the use of some constructors to make sure that we can construct all of our lovely upgrades. And we need a spare part. Let's just replenish it. Let's get me repetitive strain injury now. Why not? Why not indeed? But no, I, I really hope that you have enjoyed this. I, I know um, lots of people have, have been asking how they can get the game. Um, I will be sort of saying more about that when we start our 2022 career. But uh, I would highly recommend it. You know, I know that the menus look old. Um, but, I don't know, it's really chill and uh, <laughs> probably a nice thing to have on in the background. Certainly that's how I watch 
Grand Prix world. Um, that's fine. Right. Um, now, Monaco, uh, we had, I think, three consecutive 1-2s here. And then last season, a double DNF. So, not really sure and what to expect here. But um, uh, from experience, sticking it all on overtaking is, is not a bad idea. Well, in theory, we should be the quickest car anyway. So... Yeah, um, I think Hakkinen honestly is is more comfortable with it, the hard tires. So let's just give him what he's comfortable with. There's there's not really any point in in trying to to keep the the strategy consistent, right? Let's head back to uh, uh, the commercial stuff. Yeah, let's get that signed. I think we might as well try and play the success card on, on PlayStation um, and maybe go for TV advantage on BIC. Um, we can bump off... Who can we bump off? We can bump off Shell now and see if we can bring along PlayStation. Yeah, that's fine. And keep Ferrari as our engine suppliers. So that's getting towards being complete which is good right let's uh, get into the monaco grand prix then let's go and enjoy ourselves at uh, monaco so 26 degrees dry with a very low wind speed let's see how we get on in qualifying of course we've come to expect it will be pole position and it's mika hagenin this time and wow those hard tires have definitely done a job for mika hagenin Four tenths of a second quicker than Barrichello, who has been absolutely dominating this season. Takagi there in third, um, and we have made a bit of a step up in terms of performance. Light rain in the race. That is not what Hackenham wanted to see because uh, Barrichello is the rainmeister in this uh, futuristic world or alternate universe. So let's see. How we get on on race day. Is Barrichello's streak going to be ended? It's not. Oh, wow. And a minute and two seconds down the road as well. Pedro Diniz making it virtually a Sauber. One, two, three there. Um, Mr. Sauber himself there. Goodness me. And he only just finished behind Hakkinen there in second. But Barrichello... Six out of six for him. That is, um, you know, incredibly impressive. Um, Damon Hill there, rounding out the top six. Uh, Panis and Irvine in there as well. Very, very strong performances across the board. I mean, Hacken and nearly a DNF ahead of uh, Irvine. It looks like Sauber are going to absolutely dominate this. I mean, Barrichello is winning things on his own right now. Uh, it, 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 see, it stopped saying he's won that many in a row. Um, it is another win for him. He is streets ahead of any other driver this year. Uh, Prost has done a deal with Radon, so he will be continuing there next year. Uh, nothing else in there particularly. Made a massive loss once again. <laughs> At that Grand Prix, we are really not that bothered now. Uh, chassis upgrade, that's fine. The works deal has been signed. Good, we've got better terms with Goodyear and Ferrari and Shell and FedEx. And we now have a deal with Big. Okay. Very good. Right, let's head to commercial land of opportunity. Uh, Bic are ready to sign. Which is perfect. Uh, how many do we need? I think just one more, isn't it? I think once we got the PlayStation deal, that, that's uh, everything. Oh no, we, we do need two more, so... Um, 
Okay, let's take 5% off that. Let's go and chat with MasterCard and see if they will give us a deal. That's all fine. Okay. Uh, right, techno technology-wise, um, we can get that upgraded. Yeah, this car is an absolute beast. I can't wait to see it round a, a technical track like Silverstone, um, where you know if if you're good in the high speed corners, you are going to absolutely dominate. Um, and next year's car already looks to be headed off on the right footing. That's going to be all ready, which is good. Uh, testing wise, we don't have to do any more engine testing now. Um, we can basically wind it all down um, so that we don't have to use much of the car. So we're going to do like 60 miles of testing because we can. That looks good. Perfect exactly what I wanted yeah right um, okay let's see how the cars are doing they're doing it's okay Okay, all the spares are made. Right, let's keep going then. Three more races to go in this episode. <laughs> and it's it's become a, how many Grand Prix can Barrichello win before he is no longer a robot? That is what this series has become. Um... I am completely baffled that uh, Barrichello is just winning everything now. He has just got such synergy with the car. Um, I do think Hakkinen would have had something to say at the last Grand Prix had it not been for the rain. So let's see. Let's see how we get on. Um, it's very dry for qualifying. Let's see who comes out on pole position. Is it going to be Barrichello? Is it going to be Hakkinen? It's Mika Hakkinen again, but by the smallest of margins. That is absolutely unbelievable. A uh, fraction of a fraction of a second. 16 thousandths of a second. Barrichello was behind. Uh, Radon there in third. Watt fourth. Magnus in fifth. And Takagi in sixth. Michelin tyres look uh, pretty decent on the runners that have got them. Uh, other than, I guess, Minardi are at the back. Uh, let's see how we get on for the race then. Two stopper for Monsieur Barrichello and uh, Hakkinen will be one stopping. So you would imagine early on um, Barrichello will pass. So it's all going to be about well, how many, how long will it take, uh, or how much time can Hakkinen uh, give himself? Can he save a pit stop? But uh, let's find out. Oh no! Barrichello is out. He had an engine failure. Oh, that is so disappointing. Well, Hakkinen has uh, ended his drought. He won by a minute and 12 seconds. Absolutely 
dominant performance. Uh, Toro Takagi there in second, Magnussen in third. Uh, three different tyres in the top three there. And Magnussen, you know, only 26 points behind, potentially back in the championship. But uh, we continue our absolute dominant season. And this is what can happen when we've uh, we've ran our team so well, basically up until last year. We produced this championship dominant team. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Anyway, uh, have we got a deal? We have got a deal with PlayStation, which is good. Okay. Uh, news wise, Hacken and Wins. Benetton have uh, got the Mercedes works deal. Which is interesting. Uh, Juichi Wakasaka uh, will be driving for Arrows next season. I assume in a test driver role, but you, you never know. Uh, right into the world of technology. Let's get this constructed. Uh, yeah, I'm just sort of going through the motions with it, really. Uh, already on to model design for our upgraded package and we will have that oh we will have that in place for the british grand prix nah, austrian grand prix perhaps right uh, let's get that deal signed with playstation we might as well play our success card on those um TV advantage on PlayStation. Drop that down to 5%. Let's get MasterCard completed. And then we've got a, a full sponsor package halfway into the season, which would kind of be unheard of, you would have you thought. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, on to the next... Uh, no, we need to do our testing and stuff. Goodness me. What are you doing, Joe? Right. Um, let's get that sorted. Let's get the technology shouted out. Uh, might be able to construct next year's car now. Yes, we can. Which now means we can chuck everybody on this. Uh, you know what? Why not? Why don't we get our next year's cars built already? And then at least we'll be on the grid next year. Unless we've gone bankrupt. I mean, we've already lost about 20 million this year. Oh, dear. It's... it's if this series was continuing more than... Um, the season it would all be going wrong now however i don't care repair wise let's get that done that's good okay so the car's looking good uh, let's get our spares replenished Okay, right, uh, let's head into the, the next Grand Prix. That's already confirmed. Uh, that's fine. This has sort of become a staple now. Now, what I need to remember, when we go into the new series, um, it's going to be quite tough, you would think, to... Um, to get back to this sort of position. Uh, anyway, right, let's get into the French Grand Prix. Who's going to end up on pole position this time? I mean, Hakkinen's had two in a row. Is it... Oh! Oh! Well, there you go. Um, Prost. 
either their tires have, have made a massive step um, or they've upgraded the car and, and it's working a little bit better. It's a Prost 1 2 in qualifying. Hakkinen uh, out qualifies Barrichello, 21 thousandths of a second this time. But that uh, could be a bit of a spanner in the works if their race pace holds up to their quality pace. Let us find out in this race. Um, of course, we'll be going 36 36 with Hakkinen. So you feel like at least one of our drivers should win this race uh that has thrown a massive spanner in the works oh my word and we both retire oh no a gearbox failure for barrichello and a, a, an engine failure for mika hakkinen double dnf toro takagi wins the race radon in second there deniz in third for benetton and all of a sudden, um, a bit of panic stations. That was a, a very, very poor Grand Prix. Um, but at the very least, at the very least, we, we did all right uh, before that, didn't we? So McLaren stalled. Um, okay, that's fine. Right. Oh, that's a hell of a loss at the last Grand Prix. That is a hell of a loss. Um, we have signed the agreement with PlayStation. Have we got it? We have got to deal with Mastercard, so we are going to complete that pretty early, which is good. Um, yeah. Gearbox failure. Huh. And then engine failure that it was for, for Hakkinen. What a shame. What a shame. Right. Um, not to worry. You know, we, we do have a pretty good lead in the, the standings, but we don't want to make a habit of it. Yeah, I mean, it must have been fairly early in the race as well, but that's massive. Absolutely massive. Because uh, reliability-wise, we, we've done pretty well so far. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Because I am an absolutely crazy person. Other than the big three, I'm going to take everybody off all these deals. Or maybe just keep sort of 2% on them. Just to try and keep them ticking over for the rest of the season. And uh, we're going to stick everything in a licensing. So chronometers, um, cars, video games. Yeah, all looks good. All looks good to me. Let's go and get some um, licensing deals going. Uh, we didn't do any testing. I'm not really... Oh, well, I suppose we have to get the setup, don't we? Mm, yeah, let's just do it. Uh, I'm not actually going to fix up the cars. They're only 8% worn. They might not be at their absolute peak potential, but I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. Right. Let's do two on that. Two on that. One on that. Two on that. Two on that. And one on that. And now, confirm the assembly, and let's get into the British Grand Prix. Righty-ho, then. Uh, 22 degrees and dry for your qualifying session today. And it looks like we are back on song. 
with a pole position and it is for Rubens Barrichello who by five thousandth of a second is ahead of Mika Hakkinen very very evenly matched in qualifying Takagi and Radon third and fourth this time for Prost it may have been a one-off at the French Grand Prix uh, that their performance really showed or perhaps they were cheating in that Grand Prix I mean I can't say anything we've been cheating for over a year now um, you know and the FIA have done absolutely nothing about it it was mainly because we had to well we didn't have to but we uh, we simply could not get anything homologated but anyway Let's see how we get on in the race. The British Grand Prix, it is a 1-2, and it's Rubens Barrichello back on the top step. He won the first six races of the season. He's back on it now after two races off the podium, uh, and Mika Hakkinen there in second, three seconds, or a minute and three seconds, I should say, ahead of Pedro Diniz in third. Barrichello is so much quicker than, than Hakkinen here in the end, and... Uh, it's a very, very good race for us. Uh, 70 points now in the driver's standings for Rubens. Uh, 44, Mika Hakkinen. And uh, 110 for us in the Constructors. And that is that. Uh, that is where we are going to leave it for today. The penultimate episode of the series. It's going to be a, a cracking episode next time out. We've got the final seven races of the season. Uh, Barrichello looking very, very good for the title, but we know there are some slight reliability issues with the car going forward. Is that going to be an issue? We don't know. Um, it could well be going towards the end of the year, but uh, we, we, we will find out, and hopefully uh, you guys will join me for that finale in the next episode. So if you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Grand Prix World videos, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.